students welcome to virtual class of municipal corporation of greater mumbai education department i am mrs sachita kale and today we will learn english come on students let us begin our lesson let us learn english of standard 6 and name of the lesson is the merchant of venice dear children this lesson is a lengthier one so we will try to divide this in two parts part 1 and part 2 okay this is part 1 of this lesson the merchant of venice this is a drama this is written by by william shakespeare see this you can see here the photo of william shakespeare okay now we will try to get some information about william shakespeare william shakespeare birth 26th april 1564 and death 23rd april 1616 William Shakespeare was an English poet, playwright and actor widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's greatest dramatist. He is often called England's national poet and the bard of Avon or simply the bard. Okay? Now dear children we will proceed to the drama Antonio this is the character Antonio was a merchant merchant means a person whose job is to buy and sell products in large amounts especially by trading with other countries okay Antonio was a merchant who lived in Venice a prosperous city in italy here the meaning of prosperous is successful or usually by earning a lot of money italy was a prosperous city in those days that is about 500 years ago sea voyages were dangerous and yet some adventurous merchants you know the meaning of adventurous right willing to try new or difficult things okay adventurous merchants traveled across the seas and some others spent a lot of money in sending ships to far away countries these ships brought back spices and other treasures from india and other countries the merchants sold these things in europe they made a lot of profit in this business at the time when the story begins antonio was waiting for his ships to return with merchandise merchandise means goods that are bought and sold okay he was waiting for his ships to return with merchandise okay he had put almost all his money in he in the ships antonio was a kind man he had many friends but his best friend was bessenio bessenio was a young and handsome nobleman but unfortunately he had no money bessenio wanted to marry portia portia was beautiful and intelligent she was the only daughter of a very wealthy man her father had died leaving her a large estate in his will portia's father had written how portia's husband should be selected 
he had set a test for her suitors what is the meaning of suitors yes a man who wants to marry a particular woman okay they had to choose between three caskets here you can see three boxes these are called as caskets okay one of gold yes and one of silver and one of lead each casket had something written on it on the gold casket it was written whoever chooses me shall gain what many men desire on the silver casket whoever chooses me shall get as much as he deserves on the casket of lead whoever chooses me must give and hazard all he has okay one of the portia's suitors was the prince of morocco you can see here the prince of morocco he chose the gold casket but when he opened the casket the message inside said that it was not the right casket all that glitters is not gold isn't it another suitor the prince of aragon see this the prince of aragon chose the silver casket but that too was not the right casket besenio wanted to try his luck with the caskets to do that he had to travel to belmont where portia lived on her estate see here this is venice and this is belmont so much distance is there isn't it the this besenio is at venice he wanted to move to belmont to try his luck okay he needed money for that to travel from venice to belmont belmont he needed money when antonio came to know this he wanted to help the besenio he told besenio to borrow money in his name in his name means in antonio's name they went to shellock the jewish money lender and asked him for the money okay see here they went to shellock and they asked him for the money shellock had a lot of money but he was not at all generous yes generous you know the meaning hell he doesn't have any helping nature okay money was all that he cared for he did not like antonio because antonio sometimes lent people money without charging any interest for it for this so he used to dislike antonio so shylock decided to take advantage of this situation he gave them the money on a strange condition if antonio failed to return the money within 3 months shylock would cut off a pound of antonio's flesh you can see here the dialogues in the picture yes if you fail to return the money within 3 months i will cut off a pound of your flesh shylock said to antonio okay and antonio agreed for this and borrowed the money for besenio besenio went to belmont when he saw the caskets he chose the lead one that was the right casket and besenio won portia's hand by choosing it portia too was glad to marry besenio in the meanwhile shylock heard that antonio had lost his ships okay he was very happy that antonio would not be able to pay the money he took antonio to the 
court and demanded that he fulfill the strange and cruel condition the duke liked antonio and was sorry for him but what could he do antonio had written a bond yes this is a bond what is the meaning of bond yes bond means a legally binding agreement okay the shylock had a bond and according to the law shylock was right okay when bessinio and portia heard all this they rushed back to venice portia told bessinio pay shylock twice the amount to save antonio okay but shylock was adamant what he said i want only a pound of antonio's flesh he demanded that one what he demanded he demanded antonio's flesh everyone in the court including the duke felt that the shylock's demand was inhuman okay inhuman means extremely cruel or not human in an unusual or frightening way got this the duke asked shylock to show mercy towards antonio but shylock was not ready to do so he felt that antonio and others had treated him badly before and he wanted revenge just then a young lawyer entered the court and said i will fight antonio's case he asked antonio that do you agree with shylock's conditions antonio said that he had agreed then the young lawyer requested shylock to show mercy though the law was on shylock's side okay the lawyer pleaded that mercy is a quality of god himself when a person shows mercy to someone else they are both blessed mercy was more valuable than a king's crown but all this had no effect on shylock okay because he was a cruel man the young lawyer then said that the law allowed you to take a pound of flesh and he could not do that at the same time the lawyer warned that while cutting off the flesh you should not shed even one drop of antonio's blood and he also said that you should cut exactly 1 pound of flesh nothing less nothing more that would not be allowed by the law okay then shylock realized that he could not do what the young lawyer asked for him to do and he accepted his defeat antonius life was saved yes dear children who was the young lawyer bessenio and antonio found out later that it was none other than portia herself dressed as a young man got this later it was learned that antonius ship were safe and so he had not in fact lost his money thus the story which could have ended in a tragic manner ended happily got this yes the story ended happily the antonio got his money and 
Antonius life was saved from the Shylock right like this the drama or the story ended happily isn't it nice one dear children you will get so many dramas and stories written by william shakespeare in the library or on internet okay you can go through them now dear children we know the story isn't it yes we will move to some part of the exercise okay here it is asked say whether the following statements are true or false yes according to our story we have to decide whether the statements given are true or false okay we will go through them first one the merchant ships brought spices and other treasures from india and other countries to italy yes dear children if you want you can open your balabharati textbook page number 70 yes is it true or false the merchant ships brought spices and other treasures from india and other countries to italy yes this is true right next one antonio had gone on a long voyage no he was waiting for his ship in the beginning of the story isn't it so this is false third bessinio was very rich no this is also false he was very poor right next portia had many brothers and sisters yes yeah this is also false right portia had no brothers and no sisters correct next portia suitors choose the gold and silver caskets yeah this is true right the two princes they selected the gold and silver caskets next one is besin you borrowed money from shylock in antonius name yes this is true correct next shylock was not at all generous he was cruel correct he was not kind so this is true here it is asked here here it is said not at all generous so it is true shylock demanded a pound of antonio's flesh yes this is true right next one is portia saved antonio in the court of law correct the young man was nothing but portia isn't it a uh, j antonio's ships were lost at sea yes this is false isn't it antonius ships were safe correct now dear children please try to read this story two to three times and underline the hard words and get the meaning from the dictionary or from the net okay Thank you very much for being a part of this lesson. Please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get new updated videos.